Shio, and welcome to this episode of Cherokee History and Stories. What happened here? I'm Kathy Littlejohn, and we're exploring the Cherokee Valley towns of southwestern North Carolina. Today, we're outside of present-day Hayesville, North Carolina, in Clay County. Close to here, there was a large Cherokee town that went by the name of Shooting Creek. Now that means where it made a noise like thunder or where thunder made a noise like a shot. After the Cherokee lower towns were destroyed in the 1760s, displaced Cherokees came to Shooting Creek and sought refuge. And again in the 1820s when Georgia laws became oppressive to the Cherokees. In 1835, John Shermerhorn persuaded a small group of Cherokee people at New Echota to sign the Treaty of New Echota. A brief summary of the treaty was that the Cherokee Nation ceded to the U.S. government all lands, all Cherokee lands east of the Mississippi for $5 million and territory in Indian Territory in what is present day Oklahoma. The U.S. government were to bear all expenses for the removal and to subsidize each family for a year after they arrived in Indian Territory. The U.S. militia began rounding up in this area and collected everyone from Shooting Creek, which at the time was about 500 people, and they marched them to Fort Hembry in Hayesville, North Carolina, and then on to Fort Butler in what is present day Murphy, North Carolina, from there on to Fort Cass in Charleston, Tennessee, and from there all the way out to what is present day Oklahoma. I like to think that some of them did not go on to Oklahoma, but instead are here. For you see, the Cherokees have a story about times of great misfortune and war, and it is about the Nuyo Anehi, the immortals. At those times, they leave their world, which is below us and only accessible by the streams, and they come to warn and to invite the Cherokees to come and live with them, either under the water or under the mountains. Their world is much the same as ours, except the seasons are different. And in order to access their world, you must fast and you must have a guide. On the Hiawassee River, near the mouth of Shooting Creek, very close to here, on warm summer days, when the wind ripples the water, you can still hear them talking. And close by here, when you're fishing, even though it's very deep, your line will always catch on something as the immortal ones below hold on so that they will never be forgotten. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Cherokee History and Stories. What happened here? <music>